affiliate sports tv here salute to the mighty ldbc smash the like button hit the subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when i drop a new video and if you're digging the video go ahead and share this joint all right y'all so devin the dream haney sends shots fired at uh brian garcia brian garcia trolling Roly ramiro after Roly took his l brian says remember when Roly? I don't know why everybody call him Rollies. Instead of Rolly Ramiro, they call him Rollies. I noticed Oscar does that and uh, Clarissa. Shit. A few people call him Rollies. I don't understand what that's about. But anyway, it says, remember when Rollies thought uh, he pulled a fast one on me by choosing to fight Pitbull the last second and then proceeded to get knocked out. All right. And uh, Devin tells Ryan, you're next. Now, Ryan has been doing – this has been interesting because Ryan has been doing some weird stuff lately. You know, and I told you how I feel. I think Ryan is off his rocker. I don't think he's he's uh, mentally stable. But that has no bearing on the fight because he still can fight. Uh, but, you know I mean, especially if he's psyched up and he, he think he's some, uh, uh, you know, angel of justice or some mess like that. It's going to be hard to whoop him. But Ryan, at the press conference in Devin's face – uh, apologized and assured Devin that he never said anything against uh, Devin's religion. Uh, when Devin said, hey, I heard you said something about my religion, I'm going to make you pay for it. Ryan's like, no, man, I would never do that. Someone lied to you. And then what happens? Ryan, again, comes out and says something about uh, he thinks Devin Haney became a Muslim for clout. Like, this is so ridiculous, bro. Like, like everybody not like you, Ryan. All right, you you running around here talking about you a you a prophet, I mean complete blasphemy. Talking about you a prophet, you, you speak to to God. Uh, what else you say? Uh, you, yeah, you could predict the future, and all this type of stuff, and uh, you putting cases on people, just making up allegations on the internet. Then, then I just seen Ryan Garcia attack Michael B. Jordan randomly. Michael B. Jordan the actor. The Creed Act. He just attacked him tomorrow. Oh, man, yeah, you suck, man. Yeah, man. Why aren't you out here uh, fighting for the children? Why aren't you fighting for the children? <laughs> it's like, bro, boxing is such a joke, man. I swear, man. This dude is out here attacking random people tomorrow. Why are you not fighting for the children? Unbelievable. But hopefully, Devin Haney puts an end to all of this mess from Ryan Garcia. You know, because the dude, Ryan just don't deserve to be in the sport of boxing. He don't deserve these paydays. He don't deserve none of it, man. The kid is a clown. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a walking sideshow. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, he's entertaining and all of that, if you like that sort of thing. But other than that, the kid is just, he doesn't respect the sport. He don't take it serious. Uh, the man just, look, he smoke weed while he's training. He drink while he's training. Uh, uh, he don't care. And he tell you he's doing all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yet, Vada will tell you he's clean. You know what I'm saying? Even though he's telling you otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, he's, he's fine. You know, he's he's fine. How is all his body tests clean if we just seen the man smoking weed? And it, we know weed's in your system for 30 days. So how is his body test clean? It's just it's a bunch of cat, bro. And I don't believe Ryan was faking. I don't. I think that, that they just, they gonna like I said before, like I predicted, they're going to let the fight go on. After the fight is when they're going to come out and tell you that uh, uh, Ryan tested positive for this or for that, but they're not going to tell you beforehand. Uh, they're going to wait until after the fight just so they can't mess up the money. you know. But Ryan doing everything in his power to mess up this fight. He's already hurt the gate. I mean, I don't know how many people got to tell you. I know several people on the East Coast that want to go to the fight, but they're waiting to the last minute to get the tickets because they don't know, you know, they want to see what the, if Ryan pull out the fight or is pulled out of the fight, they want to know, uh, is there going to be a change in the pick ticket prices, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And then people shouldn't even be thinking like that. They should be totally confident that they're going to see an exciting world-class boxing matchup at the Barclays Center April 20th, you know what I'm saying, in Brooklyn. That's what they should be worried about. Instead, Ryan Garcia, with his antics, uh, can't stay off the Internet, keep playing these weirdo games. He got people, you know, shook. It's almost like he's sabotaging his own event. You know, I don't know what he's doing. But I think the pay-per-view will do well. I think that people at home will order the fight, um, you know, at the last minute once they see the way in and they see Ryan is really going to show up. I think that the fight will do well, in my opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, who wins the fight and why? 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button on the way out. I'm about to hit those deuces.